what we look at first is to make sure they don't have a lot of arthritis. The next generation of hip procedures aren't addressing the worn out joint, but are instead mending the malformed or injured hip through arthroscopic hip surgery. It's a minimally invasive technique in which we make small incisions about a half inch to a quarter inch and use very specialized instruments. We're able to work inside the ball and socket joint of the hip. The arthroscopic hip patient is generally much younger than your average hip replacement candidate. Male or female, they suffer from knife-like pain on the inside of their hip. For 15 years ago or so, before we really fully understood uh, the pathology and what goes on in the hip, um, patients with, that didn't have arthritis but had groin pain would be told that maybe it was from a pinched nerve in their back, maybe it was from uh, some type of muscle groin strain or even a gynecologic or urologic problem. People with this type of chronic groin pain are typically the movers and shakers. Between the ages of 15 and 55, they range from high caliber athletes to weekend warriors. There seems to be kind of two peak ages in which we see this problem. There's younger patients in their teens and 20s that will complain of it and you know the high school athletes or collegiate athletes and that's because they're stressing it more. Then you've got you know, the rest of the population that they're able to hide it or live with it until they get to a certain age in their 40s and 50s when finally all that accumulation of damage, they finally notice it. The pain generally comes from either a malformed bone or a small tear. Guided by a small camera and using arthroscopic tools, surgeons fix the problem and get their patients back up and running. Well, the recovery is very fast, especially compared to traditional open treatments that, that required a big incision. Usually patients come in, have surgery, go home. A new study showed 78% of athletes return to their sport within nine months, with over 90% competing at their previous level, proving they were able to bounce back with hip arthroscopy. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.